Hello, children. Uh, we meet once again. <coughs> Pardon my soul short. <coughs> what we have here now is a skeleton of a business letter of inquiry. So, as per the generic format we've done in the previous video, if you'll see, it starts with the sender's address, with a formal date, the and the designation of receiver, name of the organization, location, city. Before I go further, I want to clear out certain things. Since my whiteboard does not have lines as for your notebooks and your answer sheets, so I've used certain legends. So if you look at it, certain symbols and color, co co uh, color uh, codes, so as to help you understand it better. Wherever you come across this line, like here, it means you have to leave a blank line in your notebook or your answer sheet. Anything written in red, in this red color, will be as per question means that particular detail will be as per the question. Sender's address is given to you in the question, so it has to be as per the question. Similarly, the date on which you're writing it will be as per the question. Again, the designation of the receiver. You might be writing to various types of designations, like to the manager, to the assistant manager, to the general manager, to the sales manager, to the purchase manager, or anybody else. Name of the organization again will be given to you. So will be the location of the organization. Then, this is the part which will again be dependent on the question, the one in red. So anything that is written, written in this bright red color will be dependent on the question, will be asked for the question. Anything which is written in black, in fact everything that is written in black, it is fixed and it cannot be changed by you. It is sacrosanct, it's like you can't touch this. It has to be the way it is on the board right now, anywhere across that you see. So basically what I've done is, there are only small parts of the letter that you really have to apply your brain and configure according to the question that has been asked you. The rest of it is fixed. So in this business letter of inquiry, the third paragraph, which is the final paragraph, is fixed. Complimentary closure, fixed. Thanking you is fixed. Subscription is fixed. Salutation is fixed. Even the part of the subject line are fixed for you. Inquiry for, and then whatever follows. It could be for paint, it could be for colors, paint brush, pencils, stationery, furniture, uh, electronic equipment, um, office equipment, utensils, whatever you want. Books for your library, anything. So, inquiry for supply of library books. Inquiry for sample papers of 12 standard. Enquiry for supply of office furniture. Enquiry for uh, course details. Suppose you're writing to an organization for finding out more about the courses that they offer. Then enquiry for uh, availability of rooms. If you're traveling to some place or enquiry for uh, travel packages available, tour packages available. So all that can be done here very easily. So please follow this legend, I have color coded the entire letter. Uh, these two colors in particular since they are different, so a letter of inquiry can be for two types of inquiries, it could be either for a product or for a service. Now for a service, service is an intangible uh, thing, so you are not talking in physical quantities, therefore we cannot use this particular format for asking the query, so we have to ask it in a question form written in four different four or five different questions. Say for example, if you're inquiring about hotel room availability inquiry, then uh, what types of rooms are available? Are the rooms available between the dates we require? What other facilities do you offer? Do you offer pick and drop services? Do you organize tours and local sightseeing? So those are the kind of questions you'll ask here. Here it could be if you're writing for, say for example, if you're talking about sports equipment supplies. So, Badminton rackets, badminton shuttles, nets, uh, accessories, uh, shoes or whatever. So you can write here brand, whatever brand you want you can mention that and the quantity how many of those pieces do you want. Or maybe if it is for library books, uh, 12 standard exam preparation physics, then write the name of the author or the publication and then number of books that you want. So similarly it can be done. 
let me run you through so in the first stand now reference number and subject now reference number is something which is unique to business letters you will not generate it in any other kind of letters it's not really required even here it is an option but it is always good to let the examiner know that you have an organized thought process and you are quite aware of what exactly a business letter should be like so reference number here I have given it a code if you see enquiry EMQ so we use that code EMQ then it is followed up by DD and YY now this is nothing but the numeric date format in which we take the two digits of the date so say for example if it is uh, if today is uh, 16 so it will be 160420 so just a digit 1604 20 and xx could be any number it could be 01 02 20 22 32 52 92 whatever you want to write it so any of those any two digits so it looks like an alphanumeric code that has been generated as a reference number why i have fixed it because then it's easier for you to do it you do not get confused ki pe kya likhna hai. what exactly do we have to write here we really do not need to worry about that so in ENQ, DD, MMYY, and XX, where this is any whole number. Then the subject. Now, if I have written it like this, children, I want it like this exactly in your notebook in block capital and small capital. Block capital, small capital. And the colons will follow one below the other. Do not write the colon of subject here. That would be wrong because you will be starting your sentence here. And that kind of takes away the clarity out of the reference number that you have written and of course don't forget to leave the line in between each of these it doesn't take out take away much of an uh, <clears throat> it doesn't take much effort to bring certain clarity in your presentation so salutation will be sir it's introduce yourself briefly say why you are making the query introduce yourself very simple whether you are an organization or an individual writing for that query <clears throat> so very briefly you tell them who you are and then what is the need for this query why are you writing <clears throat> why are you writing this letter tell them why you have chosen to write to the receiver the next important thing is everybody likes to listen good things about themselves so a bit of uh, flattery would go a long way in setting up a rapport <clears throat> so you have to tell them why you have chosen I mean, maybe you've heard rave reviews about the person over the internet you have been referred to uh, by someone you know <clears throat> excuse me sorry for the interruption so it's always good to tell the person why you have chosen them maybe because of some references you've had from your people whom you know uh, you've read good reviews or it's a good brand a well-established brand so you can talk about that here as well and then you end the first paragraph with this line which is fixed therefore v oblique i v or i depending on whether you are writing as an individual or as an organization would like to know the following details and then you change the paragraph you leave a line here you come to the next paragraph now here it is very important to understand that you have to use either one of these things your query would be either for a product or for a service so you do not need to write both of them of course you note them down once from the screenshot uh, but in your when you'll get a question it will be either based on a product or based on a inquiry so i'll simply write or here either this or that okay so when you're uh, writing for a product it has to be a you have to make this box and this box and if you see even if it is for a service it has to be indented inside about an inch from the main line of your paragraphs it has to be indented in that way it brings out stands out you know in the face of the paper checker or the evaluator and it's very easily identified so it's just a matter of presentation and organizing uh, if you're more organized and presentable 
uh, of course it creates a better impression although there are no marks for impression but psychologically it does help to garner better score than you usually would in a messed up letter or in a shabbily done writing skill so let's keep it like this indented one inch from the left margin towards the right then write down the details serial number particulars brand or author or any other detail that you like publication uh, and then the quantity that is required similarly for uh, queries based on service you will write these use stars pentagrams or bullet points to ask your questions you can even write one two three four five uh, and that's okay after that you leave a line and you move to the third paragraph and the final paragraph of a business letter of inquiry so it's simple you have to ask four things the four details are kindly let us know your business terms and conditions then what is your preferred mode of payment ending in a sign of interrogation or question mark do you offer discounts or schemes question mark please send us your catalog or brochure now catalog is for products Brochure is for services and therefore I followed the color codes. Okay, so if you're talking about a service, you'll use a brochure. Now when you ask, you go to a school for admission, you get a school brochure, you don't get a school catalog. But if you go to a spare part shop or a tire shop and or, or maybe an electronics, uh, electrical shop for if you want to buy switches or bulbs or lighting uh, supplies, then they will give you a product catalog. So catalog is for products and brochure is used for services so you can be very specific yes and along with the latest price list so you ask for the price list then the complimentary close looking forward to a prompt response simple plain straight thanking you thank the person and yours truly and then the signature and that's how the business letter of inquiry will end All right, children. Now I will uh, write on board uh, uh, an example of a business letter of inquiry about a product, and you will see how it is to be done and how it is to be worded. All right. So let's look at the sample question one. It says, "You are Rajesh Sharma, sports in charge of Aditya Public School, Sonipat." Now. It says, write a letter to Messrs. ABC Sports Jalandhar inquiring about supply of cricket equipment for the newly set up cricket academy. Now there are a couple of things. You've been given the uh, designation of the sender. You've been given the name of the organization to whom it has to be sent. You've been given the city and you've been given a hint about a cricket academy. So you have to ask about sports equipment, about cricket equipment. So it's a very specific question here. So it says the sports in charge Aditya Public School Sonipat, 16th April 2020. <clears throat> the manager. Now this has to be added because you cannot write to a shop. A shop is not a person. So you have to write to somebody in that shop. So if the designation of the receiver is not given, so you simply write the manager. Messrs. ABC Sports, Jalanda, reference number ENQ 160420. 160420. So that's it and letter number 101. Subject, inquiry for supply of cricket equipment. Sir, we are a leading and a reputed school in Haryana. Introduce yourself. It is our continuous endeavor to give to our students the best of academic and sports facilities. We have just started a, our cricket academy and are looking to equip it. So why do you need what you need? Then. We got some good reviews about your quality products and customer focused approach. So why I'm writing to you because of this and would therefore like to know if you can supply the below mentioned equipment. And then you make the list of equipment, the brands, the quantities that you require. And the third paragraph is fixed. Kindly let us know your business terms and conditions. What is your preferred mode of payment? Do you offer any discounts on schools? Please send us your product catalog and price list. Looking forward to a prompt response. Thanking you, yours truly, Rajesh Sharma. Rajesh Sharma. The name is given, so we will sign as the person given in the question. 
and that children is the simplest and the most organized business letter of inquiry that you can write and if you take this absorb this information <coughs> then it will be very easy for you to remember and to read <coughs> so this is done i'll be sending certain questions i'll be putting up some questions along with this in your assignment that i'll be sending you for you to practice they will be based on products so that you can follow this example and do a couple of them and have a good practice and set them in your brains and in the meanwhile i wish that you would take down all these details put them in your english writing notebook thank you and have a wonderful day